Bonjour tout le monde. Pour la prochaine 15 minutes, on va parler en anglais. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm so happy you've joined me on this very exciting day. I am about to tackle what is probably a very difficult thing in every household, uh, the lunch for our finicky children, and as well putting the effort into our lunch when we go back to work. And I'll tell you a little something, because I always like to start off with a family story. Growing up, I had three brothers, so we were four kids, and my poor mother had to make, <clears throat> excuse me, four lunches every single day. Needless to say, there was no love in those lunches. It was just anything thrown in. Sometimes I would open up a sandwich and literally have two pieces of bread with mustard and no meat inside. Like that's how tired she was while she was making these lunches. And then I always felt like when I get older and I have kids, I'm gonna be that mom who puts all that effort and love into her kids' lunches. But P.S., I kind of, I'm not that mom. I need inspiration, like I've said before, when I have beautiful things, it demands better from me. So. With the fuel line, what it has done is it got my creative wheels turning. I have three kids, but my 12 year old is probably the most difficult, finicky eater. I've pretty much given up on her and sometimes I let her go to school without lunch. Just kidding. But the thing about my 12 year old is she doesn't like sandwiches. So I always have to be super creative. And then when I got all of my fuel line, I realized that it opened up my mind to making different ideas happen that are exciting. So I sat with her last night and I went over a few ideas and I think I really succeeded in coming up with two great creative ideas for your children's lunch. I will start with one of my most incredible discoveries. I have a, um, show you one second. Uh, from Trudeau line, I had a confetti muffin tin and I thought to myself, what if I took organic macaroni, super healthy, filled it up and then baked it and then pulled it out and created these little macaroni muffins for my daughter. So lo and behold, I did it and it was wildly, wildly successful. They popped right out. Look at this. So you make macaroni as if you would. You add a little bit of extra cheese to bind everything together. And then what you are able to do is, this is for the children. You pack four perfect bites and it also looks fun. And I feel like kids, it's all about how things look. Four perfect circles, go in, ta-da. One lunch idea perfectly fit in the fuel lunch pack. The other idea I had was I find most kids like to eat like grown-ups, or at least mine do. So I went a little bit further and I created these little um, Mediterranean sandwiches. So I took a pita and I layered it with hummus and then lettuce and then hummus again and then a falafel. And again, these are perfect size to fit four inside here and then they're just loving life and think that they are so cool opening up their lunch. So that's some cute lunch ideas for your kids and as well some snack ideas. I think that these pitas are super versatile because you can cut them to size. So we have our snack section over here. You can put in easily on the other side. I have a little bit of hummus or you can do a little bit of avocado and they can dip it for their snack. Or we have a little sweet or savory. I have cut up some pears that fit beautifully and maybe some apples just to really hit it home for some healthy. And then what you can do is I have either almond butter or a little drizzle of beautiful honey. And we will do this together. And then they open it up at school, dip, eat. I'll just do a little now. Mm. It's perfect. Okay, there's also this amazing little helper to help smooth your peanut butter, your almond butter, your honey, whatever it is, if they wanna feel super fancy. 
Okay, that's for the kids. Now, the other thing is sometimes we get a little lazy for ourselves and we think it won't really matter. We just want to get to bed, wake up, go to work. But the truth is you really should take the time to make yourself a beautiful lunch. It should always be a moment where you step away from your desk, away from your computer and enjoy because it will make the rest of your day that much more productive. So I chose what I felt was a great adult healthy lunch full of fuel, full of protein. It is a deconstructed salad niçoise, but not fancy, it just sounds fancy. So I have some mixed greens. I'm going to line this incredible bento box. What I love about this is it's super deep. So you can fill it because I'm a hungry little bear during the day. So I have French beans I'm going to line. I have potato I'm going to line here. Then I have some albacore white tuna you just get at your grocery store. And I have a little bit of olive oil and fresh lemon just to give it a little zhuzh. You know, you don't want to overdress because there's actually a lot of beautiful tastes in my marinated vegetables that I'm going to show you. I feel like a real chef right now. All my work coming, it's beautiful already. Then I, of course, because it's an Isoise, I made a hard boiled egg and I'm going to put that there. And then I like these marinated vegetables because it packs a lot of flavor and then you don't have to worry about your dressing during the day. So I'm going to layer it, a little marinated vegetables, some beautiful olives, oh, and some roasted red pepper. Okay, this is looking very beautiful. Well, I like a lot, so sorry about that. And voila, just want to show you how magnificent, how deep, and this packs a punch. Because like I said, I'm an animal sauvage and I need to eat a lot. And then on top, you, what you can do is I put some very fancy gourmet crackers and beautiful cheese because like I said, make every moment count. You would be very surprised how grateful your daytime self is going to love your nighttime self if you put the extra effort. Okay, so this is really cool and this definitely speaks to the kid in me. So you layer your dry goods on top and then you close it up and then you are ready for your adult delicious lunch. There. Okay, so we've done a lot so far. I'm gonna put that there, and I'm gonna move this here. So just to recap, there's two lunch ideas for your kids. We have that incredible, brilliant idea of mine with the macaroni. We have the Mediterranean falafel hummus sandwiches. We have snacks, whether you take Pear, apple, honey, almond butter hummus, whatever it is, is going to be delicious. They're going to be super happy. The other thing is, as adults, it's very hectic in the morning, I know. So the thing that I could easily do is skip breakfast. I think coffee is a food group and it is not a food group, everybody. You need to start off the morning right. And once again, if I have beautiful products, it inspires me to want to do better for myself. So this leads me to, let me just move this over a little bit. This leads me to beautiful fruit and berries. And when you make that effort, I promise you, you will be so happy and grateful at the office. You're going to sing the rest of the day. Okay, maybe I sing. So what I love about this product it's multi-layered. You put your dry goods at the bottom. So you have, let's say, I made homemade granola. Yes, fancy pants. Homemade granola. And what you can do is drizzle a little bit of honey. So it's all prepared on your granola like that. Perfect. Then you close it up. Then the best part, the cover, it is almost, well, it isn't almost, it is, you put this in the freezer overnight and then it keeps everything super cold on top. So you can mix your berries and your strawberries and then mix a little bit of yogurt. Oh, okay. And then close it.
it up and I promise you, heaven, all triple decker punch. This is grab and go. Eat it in the car at a red light or wait until you get to your office. Start your day right because remember, coffee is not a food group. Start with breakfast. So that's my new favorite thing. My next favorite thing, my poor mom, if she only had the fuel line, maybe, maybe we would reflect on our lunches and have a way better memory. So the other thing that I love, look at this, there's a strainer, you put your fruit inside. And one thing about berries especially is you have to be so careful when you wash them that the excess water, if it doesn't drain, makes everything mushy and smushy. It's not fun. So the great thing about this is you wash your berries. It's a little mini strainer. You pop it in. Water strains out through. Nothing gets soggy. Everything stays beautiful. You close it up, pack that into your lunchbox, and you are a happy camper because lunchtime, breakfast time is not just for kids. It's for everybody and it is super important, especially as we get back into the school year. I think we all know that we need all the energy that we could muscle up. So Fuel Line, Trudeau, completely inspiring, is going to make me a better mother. It's going to make me have better, more creative lunches. And more than anything, it's going to slow me down and take time to eat during the day. Thank you so much for joining me. This was an absolute pleasure. I cannot wait to get back to work and back to school.